What is more classic than a banana muffin? Um, a banana chocolate chunk muffin. Anything banana just screams brunch, and that's exactly what you're gonna get with these muffins. This batter is extra tender and moist from the addition of some Greek yogurt. You mix it all together with the mashed bananas, and then not just regular chocolate chips, but big pieces of chunky chocolate. You put it, of course, into a muffin tin, make them really full because I love the big domed muffins. Bake them up till they're golden brown, drizzle them with more chocolate. I mean, come on. These are over the top, the ultimate banana muffin, and it's all coming up on today's Wise Guide. What is it about banana things? There's just something delicious about it. One, they add a ton of moisture, they add a ton of sweetness because they are chocked full of sugar, but then they have that awesome banana flavor. My grandma always made banana bread. It was like her thing. And don't get me wrong, it was good, it was great. But the addition of huge pieces of chocolate just somehow make it even better. So this is completely different because it's a banana muffin. It's over the top, it's ultimate, it's a little bit extra, but let me tell you something, it's also delicious. And you know what, if you're gonna have a brunch, if you're gonna have people over, if you're gonna have something special, you need to have some good pastries, right? And that's exactly what these are. They're that over the top bakery style muffin full of banana goodness, but also full of delicious chocolate chunks. And if you are excited, you know I am too. Let's get started. In the bowl of your mixer, you just want to cream together some room temperature butter with some granulated sugar and some brown sugar. Just cream it up until it gets somewhat lighter and fluffy. Yeah, that takes a little bit longer than you think, probably at least three minutes. And if you put a timer on, three minutes is longer than you think for your mixer to go. Once that's lighter and fluffier, just kind of scrape down the sides, make sure it's incorporating well, and then add your eggs. I like to add them one at a time just to make sure they're really working into that cream mixture. Once the eggs are incorporated, you can of course add my best friend vanilla. We've been together for a long time and we really love each other. Vanilla is just delicious. And vanilla and banana, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Add in your Greek yogurt. If you have sour cream, that can be used too. I always have Greek yogurt in the fridge, so it just makes sense. To mash the bananas, I just take them out of their casing and then just mash them around my cutting board. I find it a lot easier. A fork, a wooden cutting board, mash away. And as you notice, I like to use brown bananas because that means they're even more ripe and have more sweetness and flavor. Once they're mashed up, you can just add them to your mixer. Mix it with the Greek yogurt till it's well combined. Once that's mixed together, yeah, it's gonna look kind of gross, kind of brown, kind of curdled. Don't worry, that's perfect. Just scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure everything is really mixing in. For the dry ingredients, you just wanna add some flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. You know anything sweet needs some salt. Mix that up. Until it's just coming together, you may need to scrape down the sides of the bowl to make sure it's all incorporating. And then we can get the chocolate ready. Yeah, you could just use chocolate chips. If you wanna make it easier, go ahead. But why not be a little extra, a little decadent, and just cut up your own chocolate pieces? This is what's gonna give it that really bakery look. It's gonna give you big pockets of delicious melted chocolate. And usually it's better quality chocolate too, because chocolate chips, a lot of times they coat in like a starch so they don't stick together or melt as easily. So let's just use awesome chocolate. Break it up into chunky pieces. And then you can just stop the mixer, clean off the beater, of course with your hand because it's the easiest way. Once you take it off the mixer, I like just to give a final check with a spatula to make sure all the bits and pieces were mixed in. Throw in all those chopped pieces of chocolate. I like to leave the fine bits that are really powder behind and then that's what I melt later to put on top. Fold in those chocolate pieces and then you can just grease your muffin tin and start scooping. I like to make these pretty full, almost level, and they make 15 perfectly sized muffins. Could there be anything better? Make sure to evenly distribute all that batter and that way you're gonna get 15 equal muffins. You'll definitely need a second pan here. Once it's all portioned, you can sprinkle all the tops with some regular granulated sugar. That's just gonna make it kind of crusty on top, a little bit of extra sweet hit because well, obviously these aren't sweet enough. 
You can just pop them right into your preheated oven and let them bake. I love how banana things with baking powder just really puff up. They get a nice dome on top, a little bit golden around the edges. They smell delicious. When a skewer comes out clean, pull them from the oven, let them cool a few minutes in the pan, pop them out onto a rack, drizzle them with chocolate, as much or as little as you want, but I'm gonna say for as much. If we're going extra, why not be extra the whole way? If you agree and think these are the ultimate banana chocolate chunk muffin, make sure to like, share, subscribe. For the recipe, go check the description box. And for more awesome brunch and other recipes, go to wiseguide.com. And until next time, get those bananas, let them sit on the counter, and make some muffins.